I like it. <laughs> well, you'll see that slider versus these right, if you can believe that. First pitch fastball at 95 is lifted to deep right, and Pinto Whoa. leaves the ballpark. Whoa. And how about that for some fireworks? Max Pinto picking up right where he left off at the SoCon tournament, and Sanford on the board after one pitch. We said this was a confident bunch, and that confidence is playing over to the postseason. Match was done. Max Pinto exits the ballpark. Sanford on the board first. It conference out of the SoCon as well. Sanford with an early advantage. And lifted to right. That'll drop right in front of Allen for a base hit. Second of the inning. So McMahon. Oh, I think you attack him up high fastball. There it is. Whips it right past him at 96 miles an hour. The left-hander with 15 starts this year, make it 16 as Rowdy Jordan floats this one to right field. And confusion, and the ball hits the turf. Jordan is aboard. Is Crockett and Carlson, or was that Crockett and Pinto? Regional back in 2018 and picked up a win against the Seminoles. Ground ball up the middle, drifting over quickly, Carlson. Could not get rid of it. Advancing to third will be Jordan. The first two are aboard for MSU. Inside. Look at this pitch. Set up inside. Goes with the pitch. Grounded to third. Over to first in time. That'll tie the game as David came up with it quickly. So Mississippi State with a rebound run after Sanford's early solo bomb. Cheer for Strickland. Runner still at second base in the one-two offering. Hit him right on top of the foot. So the Bulldogs now with runners at first and second in a tie game. Dogs of MSU will see which Bulldogs have the worst bite as Strickland shows you some nice stuff. We're swinging a miss upstairs to Brule retired. If you missed the memo on the Rams out of the A-10, they won the conference tournament. And they've won 21 games in a row as Caden Dreyer is aboard. Hasn't started. Will David? Rounds that one could be two over to second. And a Taylor made 6 4 3, twin killing Forsyth to Brule Hancock. Finger, split finger fastballs for changeup. That's almost outdated as well. Over to third at eight. David's lunch across the diamond, not in time. Leadoff man aboard for Mississippi State, so that trend continues. <laughs> I think you don't have a choice on where you're going. Legacy is that deep. Look at that. Through the right side, a base hit. Big turn at second. Headed to third. It'll make it easily. Is Cumbus and the Bulldogs with runners at the corners and nobody out. Runners at the corners, nobody out. Grounded right back to the pitcher. He'll flip it home. They'll record the out there. And a nice play both by Strickland and Dreyer. That's the first out of the inning. Rowdy Jordan led the game off with a double. Ground ball to third. Shortstop comes up with it. Swats it down. And that's about it. Big pitch. Downstairs and Mississippi State has his first lead. Well, Cameron James. I think Sanford's got a right to question the strike zone. Grounded through the right side for a base hit. Forsyth comes home to score. Rowdy Jordan right behind him. And a big inning for MSU. The Bulldogs grab a 4-1 to one lead. This is postseason baseball, and runners on base are magnified. And we mentioned the huge gap in the right side of the infield, the way they're playing them. Throwing once a week out there. Serves this one right to second. And somehow, some way, Carlson corrals it. New Jersey. Institute of Technology. I will after Rowdy Jordan rips this shot down the left field line. Extra bases all over it. And this is going to be at least his second double of the game. And it is. And Jordan now with 17. Type stuff. Grounded over to second. Jordan with the late attempt. Slides in <laughs> safe at home. You want to talk about manufacturing a run. Rowdy Jordan did it by himself in this inning. Absolutely by himself. Got a little bit lackadaisical. Hustling down the line. That'll make you a fan favorite. 
mean, you know, you got to hold him. The moment he just turns completely. As he's turning, Jordan is going. Good job of base. Nine games. Going back now a couple of years. A charge sent to left center. Going back, Pinto, and he'll make a running catch just short of the track. As well. Dreyer, deep left. Going back, Cumbas at the wall, and it's gone. Well, the home run by Caden Dreyer, and here comes Sanford, the champs of the SoCon. That'll be his third of the season. Good job of it getting full extension on that. The power from the catcher. One of the few times we've seen Samford hitter actually stay in there and turn on a slider. From Bednar, they've had trouble fighting off the slider all just a freshman. And has been able Doesn't to throw like one. Dominate. Well, that would mishandled by Bednar and drifting in at first base will be Will David. You know, Sanford a bit fortunate there, but the Bulldogs will take it. Harris flight out to left field, his first plate appearance. Drives this one deep again towards the corner and off the top of the wall. Taking third base will be David. And a one-out double has Sanford cooking something up here in the top of the fifth inning. Junior out of Miami, Florida, Max Pinto. A rocket to right. Allen going back at the track. That should be deep enough to make it a 5-3 game. Both runners will tag, and it is. Coming home to score is David Garris now at third, so a productive at-bat for Max Pinto. The share hit three home runs against Florida earlier this year. Big rip, and he comes up empty. Bednar flexing. If you will, Carson Cupo as well. Grounded into right center field for a base hit. Leadoff man aboard for MSU. Eight miles an hour slower than it was to start the game. Tanner's 0 for 2. Grounder over to short. Could be 2 to first in time double play. Garris Carlson and DeShera here because, you know, do we, do we count Bednar last year? And this will be a leadoff hit for Cumbus. Try to get in over at second base, and he will get in safely. Leadoff double for MSU and a little swagger to boot. Seen some power, especially from Sanford, Forsyth. Should be deep, deep enough. enough to right Should as be. Crockett. Fields and fires, the runner tagging. And the throw will be cut off. Six to three, Mississippi State. Bottom of the order gets it done. The RBI for Forsyth on the sack block. Puts another charge into it, right center. And Pinto using every inch. And the 0-2 pitch. Delivered to right center, and that's gonna fall. And the SEC player of the year, the seeing eye single happens, and it did there for Tanner Allen. Second hit of the afternoon. You'd off runner on, they've been they've been really good at doing it. Well, it's gonna go way up after that. James was hit by pitch somewhere on the lower part of his leg. And Mississippi State with the first two aboard here in our seventh inning. And with the locals <laughs> a little bit. Well. I've done a good number of football and basketball games here over the years and baseball. That's going to be a run scoring single in the right field. Seven to three, Mississippi State extending its lead. Hancock on the left hand side just able to poke it through there. They've had a number of hits coming at right side of the infield today and been able to do some damage. Hammer. The right, the left fielder, Towns King. And surprisingly deep enough to score another run. So give Tanner a sack fly, his first RBI. Eight to three, Mississippi State. Payoff. Up the middle, could be two. Flip to short, back to first, in time, double play. No four, six, three to retire the side and end the threat, trailing by five. And Johnson's first pitch, a fastball at 92. DeShera sends it to deep left. And that ball is gone. 
<laughs> Boy, King, check that. Compass reached up for it, and DeShera with too much power. No, the second time we've seen the first pitch of an inning go out of the ballpark for Sanford. And it's down 8-4 to four game. 16th home run of the season for number 17, Sonny DeShera. I mean, this is what he's been wanting to do. and He was able to get full extension to that one. Wow. Actually got under it just a little bit too, but hit it 353 feet. They're playing some good baseball there with Stanford. Whenever you talk about them having good teams, it always starts on the pitcher's mound with those California aces they keep out there. Cardinal, number nine C with a 5-1 lead. Sanford adds a run. So after Cumbus strikes out, a rocket down the right field line for Clark. Cameron Clark, the stand-up double and the flex. Well, you love the emotion. Here's Rowdy Jordan, back to the top of the order. And a deep right allowed out to Crockett to retire the side. And a walk, so Sanford with a little bit of life here. Swung on and miss. And the throw down to first in time in Mississippi State. Gets it done in game one, eight to four the final. As the Bulldogs from the SEC take care of business against the Bulldogs from the Southern Conference.